afternoon. You are ready for yes, you are. Ready I am for ready to go. How do I look? You look sensational. We're going to wait for uh, Brian. He's coming here. How come? Well, Leslie got caught at the hospital. Claudia is in New York with her mom, and Brian's going to go with us. So, we're waiting for him here, and it's going to take about another ten minutes. we got some time. May I treat you to one of your famous cups of delicious cream tea? I'd love it. Why don't you go ahead I'll and have it? I'll get it for you. Thanks, Martha. Thanks. You know, I can't wait to see Celia walking down that aisle. She's just going to make one beautiful bride. I just know it. <laughs> I'm kind of anxious to see Grant. He's about as nervous as a cat on a hot tub. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come, my love. Oh, you look absolutely extravagant. Oh, well, Dustin. Mother. Oh, Alan, dear. You look oh, gorgeous. Doesn't this look beautiful? Oh, I love weddings. I do, too, as long as it's not mine. Oh, Dustin. Don't be silly. You were the most handsome bridegroom. I wonder if Celia is here yet. Oh, I seriously doubt it. It's much too early for her. Absolutely. No, no. She's going to take a limo with Robert and uh, Holly. She's going to make sure every guest is already in the church. She would never miss the value of a late entrance, you know. Is anybody there? Hello? Somebody help! What happened? Why do you care? Because I care about you. Look, it's not what he did. It's what he is. What is he? He's rich, he's powerful, he's used to getting his own way. Yes, Mr. Brock certainly is that. Well, Barbara, you've certainly been a sucker for strong, independent men before. Some of the time, yes. Wait a minute, does this go back to that credit card bit? No, we had that out. Well, what's the problem? The problem is very simple. Yeah? It seems that Mr. Brock... Good afternoon. Hey, what you doing? I am signing out. Oh, banker's hours, huh? Well, today, yes. I'm off to Dr. Putnam's wedding. Oh, that's right. That's this afternoon, isn't it? Yes, he was kind enough to invite me. He is such a joy to work with. Mm -hmm. He's a fine doctor, too. Too bad he's taken. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Barbara. It's only 3.30. The wedding hasn't started if you work fast. Forget it. He can't see past Celia. <laughs> they are a lovely couple. I'm sure they're going to be very happy. If somebody is. Would you mind calling me a cab? Not at all. Thank oh, you. Wait a minute. Don't bother. I'll drive you over. Terrific. In fact, why don't you come with me? It's going to be a lovely wedding. Uh, Natalie, weddings are on my list of favorite things. Way down there. Near flat tires and toxic seafood. But I will give you a lift. Good. Maybe I can change your mind on the way. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay. See you later, Donald. Have fun. Oh. Uh, Barbara, did you forget something? What time do you get off? Four, why? Would you like to meet me at Kelly's for an early dinner? That depends. I'm buying. 
And pleading Brock's case? No, but, you know, the name might come up in the conversation. Okay, John Alden, you're on. It's a small price to pay for free meal. I'll see you when you get off. It's tough being a teenager these days. Did you ever know a time when it wasn't tough? <laughs> True, but... Well, what do you think about Blackie working at the casino? Well, that's not the kind of crowd I'd ever want him to run around, but uh, I think at least with Luke there looking in on him, we've got a chance. Yeah, that's true. That's... Hi, you guys. Hey. I'm sorry I'm late. No well, problem. that's no problem. We're sitting here talking about what's become of young people these days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now, then again, I'm glad I'm late. I got you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kelly's. Hi, Les. Yeah, he's right here. Hold on a second. Excuse me. Thanks. Hi, honey. What's up? Oh, no, of course. All right, fine. Uh, look, I'll be right there. What, is there an emergency? Leslie, she wants me to look in on the Steiner girl. She's having trouble breathing. Well, listen, that's okay. Brian can come with me in my car. All right. Great. Okay. All right, I'll see you all later. Okay, okay. sounds good. See you later. We should get going ourselves. We don't want to miss a social event all of the right. season. Let's I mean, it's a big time. Oh, hey. Jimmy, Lee. Hey, guys. Hey, what you happened? You're looking. I had a rough morning. What, are you working over on the green with Billy? No, no, I had some other business to take care of. Dirty business, too, from the looks of it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go upstairs and get cleaned up, because I got me a wedding to go to. Well, now, are you feeling better? No. <laughs> well, you haven't got a thing to worry about, sir. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Hello. 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 Falls to pieces. <laughs> Poor well, boy. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 Mr. Quartermain. Mr. Quartermain. I'm uh, sorry. Do I know you? Oh, well, I'm quite sure you know of me. I'm B. Barron, the Port Charles Herald. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, I knew this wedding was big, but I didn't realize it was new. Well, it's on the society page. I edit that section, and this is drama of the highest order, socially speaking. I never doubted it for a moment. Well, I suppose we start by you introducing me to the players. Yes, of course, gentlemen. This is uh, Mrs. B. Barron, social editor of the uh, Port Charles Herald. May I present uh, the proud father of the bride, Quentin Quartermain. Oh. Dear lady, it's a pleasure. Oh, how do you do? And our eminent best man, Dr. Hector Gerald. No? I'm honored, doctor. Last but not least, the uh, star of our show, the groom, Dr. Uh, Grant Putnam. Oh, well, congratulations, Dr. Putnam. You are the man of the hour. Yeah. Has the uh, Long Island branch of the family arrived yet? Oh, yes, they're here in town, but they haven't uh, as yet arrived at the wedding. Yet. Right? Well, as far as I know. Well, I do want to meet them. Oh, I'm certain that can be arranged. Well, thank you. Uh, Grant. Don't you think uh, you and Dr. Gerald ought to go into the sacristy? After all, you don't want to see Celia when she arrives. Who doesn't? No, Edward's right. Right, your next glimpse of your bride should be as she walks down the aisle, preaching the glove. And I'll bet that Celia will be beautiful. Could you give me a lift? Well, it depends. Uh, where are you headed? My wedding. You live in San Francisco, eh? 
No, I only wish. Look, I need a ride to Port Charles as soon as possible. You are my only hope. Would you please give me a ride to the police commissioner's house? A crime been committed? No, not yet. How's that? I say the house is in the main square. I can tell you where it is. No, I think I know where you want to go. Then you take me? Well, if you don't mind, if you take me, I'm aboard. Oh, uh, can't sit here. I'm carrying some eggs. I have to get in the back. Maybe I'm starting to sound like Grant, but shouldn't Celia be here by now? Quentin, will you relax? Pride is always the last to arrive. And the first to go. Um, why don't we go see what uh, Grant is doing? Huh? You sure you want to know? With a gentleman, I'll even lead you to the door. Oh, come on, please stay, it'll be fun. Oh, no, yes, no, really. Will. Natalie, no thanks. What else have you got to do? I beg your pardon, I got a lot to do. Such as? Well, look at this new car. I want to polish the new car. Oh, I, good. I got a lot of laundry piling up. Uh-huh, what else? Uh, uh, Tiffany wants her sequins washed. I thought so. No, babe, really. Uh, I'm not even dressed for a wedding. Who cares? You can stand in the back with me. The view's good from back there, and you know you're there. Come on, stay. I, I don't like weddings. You know, really. I don't. I thought Monica was supposed to be helping us. She's probably waiting for a cue as we speak. Oh, uh, Commissioner. Uh, Commissioner. Excuse me. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Not at minute? all. Tell me, are you here professionally or, or socially? I'm here strictly socially today. Uh, to be with, uh, oh, one of those cameras. Uh, to be with the studio and Grant. Excuse oh, me. great. Of go. course. Who's here? Yeah. Money in position, that's the name of the game. The commissioner and his wife certainly wanted everybody to know it. Okay, I'll see you later. Excuse me, time to get to work. Okay, fine. Hello. Hello. You really? Do you? Oh, so do you. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry we were so late. Robert had to stop by headquarters. Oh, no, that's no problem. I haven't missed anything. Well, I thought you might need my help. No, everything has been done. She got dressed all right, then. Who? Steal it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I have no idea. What do you mean? I know that she happens to be sitting out in your car waiting for the rest of the guests to get in the church. What car? Your car. Celia's not in that car. Celia isn't with you. No. This way. Where is she? I thought she was with you. 
Cecilia, we're supposed to go to your house to get ready, come with you and Robert in your car to this church. Right, but I got a note. Well, I got a note, too. I don't like the sound of this. It makes two of us. Look, my note said that uh, there was some problem with her wedding dress. She was going to Delphina's, and then she was going straight to your house to get ready. My note said she was having trouble at the hairdressers. We're going to come here and get dressed with you. Oh, dear. Monica! Oh, hello, Sheeta. Oh, hello. it's so good to see you again, and Cousin David. Hello, Monica. Hello. It's been too long. Much too long. Everything all set for the big event? Well, we certainly hope so. Where is Celia? Um, she's, she's on her way. Oh, she must be beside herself. Yes, well, she's not the only one. Pardon? Um, how are your accommodations? Oh, lovely. Fine. The Harbor Towers is marvelous. We're so pleased. Thank you so much for making those arrangements. Oh, no problem. Oh. I'm just glad that you were happy with them. Oh, wh wh where's the rest of the family? Oh, they'll be along shortly. Well, good. Uh, in the meantime, would you please sign in? Hello, David. Please. Oh, oh hi, Alan. Alan, you're looking well. Thank you. You too. Can I show you to a seat? Oh, it's still early. Uh, would you like to go out on the lawn? Maybe we can catch a glimpse of the bride oh, on her yes, way out. Oh, yes, let's do. I'd love to catch a glimpse of Celia. So would I. I was the only one not at the wedding. Well, now there's two of us. I wonder how it's going. Who cares? Oh, want some coffee? Yeah. Hey, just the man I want to see. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I didn't realize this is a private party. No, uh, it, uh, it isn't, man. Sit down. I'm sorry. You okay? Look, I'm fine. Let's dispense with the uh, small talk. Let's get to business, all right? I'd rather wait for that. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about me. Neither do I. I want you to tell me about your sister. What do you want to know? Her hobbies, her sign, what she's going to be when she grows up? Who bet you? You don't want to know, man. Well, I'm just asking. I already said I don't want to talk about me. Well, neither do I. I, I just want to know why Bobby put me in the cooler. Maybe she's afraid you'll spoil. Hey, I am serious. What's the deal? What did I do? Deal, I don't know. I am not her spokesman. Well, she's not exactly a fountain of information, at least not where I'm concerned. All right. Listen, I was talking to her earlier. She almost spilled it. We got interrupted. I can't figure it out. I will find out for you. It just bothers me. I mean, I don't know. I just... I care about the girl very much, and, and there's no reason for her to treat me that way. Now, wait a minute. If she's doing anything, there is a reason. Bobby has a reason. Yeah, then why doesn't she tell me? I've done everything possible. I haven't worked this hard in years. It's good for you. What, rejection? No, wanting something, going after it. Hey, thanks a lot, Doc, for the help. Now all you have to do is tell me how I can go about getting it. If I knew how to get it, I'd get it for me. <laughs> hey, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, hey. Hey. Where are you going? Oh, to the quarter main wedding. Where else? I just came from there. Save your time. Not me. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, you can have it. I intend to. You want to move to a table? Yeah. Oh, I can't stand much more of this waiting. It's almost time. How's the crowd? It looks like just about everybody's here. Still don't see the Long Island contingent, though. Well, of course not. They've perfected the practice of arriving late. And Celia's turned it into an art. It's a bride's prerogative. And a groom's nightmare. Oh, will you relax? Yes, come on now. Everything's going to be just fine. Before you know it, this will be history, and you will be a married man. Not a minute too soon. I don't know what could happen to her. I have no idea. I hope she's all right. What I don't understand, Holly, is why did we get two completely different notes? She's trying to put us on the wrong track. Or someone else is. Ooh, I don't have a clue. What is this? Oh, am I glad I found you. What's all this? It's all yours. What happened? What? Oh, this just ain't my day. I ended up going to the wrong church. I mean, the pastor freaked. I guess Donald what? forgot about a wedding what? or something. Uh, anyway, yeah, I yes, need here, it, Robert. Robert. I'm sorry I'm sure. late. Uh, Sacrosy. Right. I hope I didn't mess things up. Who told you to pick up that stuff from my house this morning? Oh, some guy. 
What, what guy? Uh, describe him. Oh, medium height, uh, brown hair. He looked kind of tough. He was wearing work clothes. Jimmy Lee. Dress got here. We just had someone to hang it on. I don't know. Uh, I just saw Robin I know. with a wedding dress hey, veil. Any sign of Celia? No, she's not here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, there he is. Not down, not down, not down. What? Long Island. Oh, just what we need. Alan, let's get him into the church as fast as we can so Monica and I can talk to Jimmy Lee. Right. That's perfect. We're getting married. No, I want to go to the police commissioner's house first. It's just down the street, just about a mile, right on the main square. Well, I know where it is. Well, then why are you stopping here? Let's go. Come on. Well, ma'am, I don't have a license to be carrying passengers in a neighborhood no, like no, this. You no, better no, just step no, right no, out of there, little lady. Give me a ride. I better no, no, get on down no, to the office. No, wait, wait, wait. No, you told me that you were not. No, no, wait a minute. <laughs> General Hospital will continue in a moment. 